Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Stooge, and today, chums, I've got something rather different for you. Yes, I'm drinking a cup of tea, but I'm not talking about No Man's Sky today. Heck, no, I'm not. I'm talking about me making a book. Yes, I've wrote a book, people in the viewer verse. It's, a, it's an e-book. It's an e-book, but you can, you can go download it and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, I'll be hitting up my reaction camera. Let's see if I can bring that one up. It's a PC share. Here we go. Chikapow! There I am. Hoover on my PC. Now, this is Photoshop, and this is the front cover. It's called Un Unlocking Reality. Exploring the Simulation Theory by moi. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my real name there, people. Anyways, let's go on over to the into webs and I'll show you how I wrote this book. Right, so I jumped over to GPT, chat GPT, and I said, I've got a bit of a project for you. My spelling isn't all that great or grammar. However, I've got an idea and I want to be able to create a book that hopefully can unify religions and all that sort of shenanigans. And uh, chat GPT said, yeah, go on then. Um, what's your idea? So I said, well, simulation theory. So simulation theory basically is an idea that we're all living inside a simulated universe. Now, if we are living inside of a simulated universe, then there must be somebody or something that created that simulation. So there's like an architect, a grand architect of things. So I figured, well, technically, if that's the case, then every single religion out there would be sort of adhering to the same god in principle in a roundabout way anyway so i wanted to try and make a book that was sort of scientific but based on theory that also ties in spiritual elements to sort of amalgamate everything into one and i know what i think i may have just gone and freaking done it heck yes so yes I, the chat gpt first sounded off with all these ideas and how i could do all this sort of stuff and i said mm, that's lovely, but I want to make it a little bit more similar, you know, and or, or simpler for people to grasp and to sort of say, actually, I'm going to jump in with both feet. I didn't want to throw a load of science at them then a, and, and completely blow their minds. And because it's a sort of to wrap in some ideas of the spiritual and concepts from religion, I had to go about it in a very careful way. And again, uh, chat B to GPT went a little bit mental. So I just went, wound it in and I tried to give it the idea of what I was trying to go for. So I was thinking chapters. I like to break things down into chapters because I'm not all that great at reading people. Got a bit of a dyslexic head. So yeah, here we go. In the end, it got to what I was conceptualizing inside of my head and this is what started to happen and started to take shape so i don't want to scroll too much but you can see here how it's broke it down into nice little chapters kept it all sort of almost bullet pointy bite-sized chunks that are easy to dissolve with the eyes and to bring into the actual gray matter at least for myself so i find it easy to, easier to read broken down like that then i gave it some context behind me and why i want to write this because i had a near-death experience and it almost felt like I went back to being this observer, this 360 degree viewy type entity, and it almost felt like I'd just stepped out of a car and I was back on my old legs. It was it's very difficult to explain. But anyway, it puts it all into context and puts it all out there. If you are clicking around on the site where I've published this publication, which I'll show you in a moment, you'll probably find that I've wrote a fair few different publications and some of them are more spiritual than scientific. But I figured that the scientific element of the um, simulation theory, I mean, even Elon Musk has talked about all of this, which is inside this publication as well. There's also some tests in here that you can do in everyday life to test that we could actually be inside of a simulation like the free slot effect and, and or the double slot effect and all oh, there's loads of stuff in here that you can try at home anyway even an app for your phone yeah rando nautica that you can do to actually see if you can bring something in there's stuff on the law of attraction and how that can be used into prayer it doesn't even have to be a religious type prayer if you're not religious at all. You can just sort of do this through the law of attraction. So yeah, as you can see here, I've been given the prompts to chat GPT, telling it what I would like to have featured, how I'd like to have it featured. And chat PT has done all the word crafting, which is fantastic. Anyways, after I'd done that, I went on to Lulu, a self-publishing website, which I've used for other publications in the past. And I've just put this out there as an ebook because it's only like 23 pages. I didn't want to pad it out and make it something more just so I could get it into a hardback edition but i put it on there at six six pounds in monies i make about four pounds and fifty pence if you purchase one of these books which is lovely jubbly and it's just another sort of revenue stream for me it's got its own isbn number it may even appear 
perhaps on other places as well. But yeah, there's there's all sorts going on there. If you hit about Steve Giles, you'll see all my other publications on there. There might be something else that takes your fancy. But yeah, this is all about unlocking reality, exploring the simulation theory. I hope you give it a look. I hope you give it a bit of a read. I know this is a bit different to what I would normally do, people inside the universe, isn't it? It really is. But there we go. <laughs> What can I say? Uh, I'm just, I like doing things that are a little bit creative. And this whole chat GPT and AI type stuff, I'm quite into, to be honest. I know people say it's going to destroy the world and end civilization as we know it. But for now, <laughs> it's relatively harmless. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, people. But there we go. Uh, yeah. Anyway... They said similar about the internet, didn't they? And that that didn't it um, revolutionise the way we live. So who knows? Maybe, maybe the AI isn't anything to worry about. But anyway, I've used it to help me with this publication. You know, let's keep this sort of positive and upbeat and cheery, yo. Because you know, a cup of tea with Captain Steve's. They usually are to put a smile on your face. I've made a book. <laughs> That's all I needed to say. I've made a bloody book, mate. Go buy it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, if you if you want. Anyway, people, salute Mondo. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye-see-bye. <laughs>